And now to our latest Three Cares event. Today, Channel 3 in Masksville, Connecticut are once again handing out thousands of face masks. Scott Haney has been out at Rentschler Field in East Hartford all morning long. Scott, how are things going over there? Well, Nicole, things were supposed to have wrapped up by about noontime today, uh, but you can see the line continues to stream all the way around Rentschler Field, where we find ourselves today in East Hartford. No sports taking place here today, but something way more important. We are giving out free food and we are giving out free face masks. This is all the result of two wonderful organizations coming together, joining forces to do some good in Connecticut. Take a look. It all starts with a morning meeting. And then it begins. Slow roll, slow roll. It's the sound you hear over and over again as thousands of people come in to get food here at Rentschler Field. We're in our seventh week right now, and we've done over 45,000 cars in the last six weeks and distributed over a million pounds of food in that time frame. Not only are people getting food, they're also getting free face masks, courtesy of Masks for Connecticut, started by Bob and Amy Stefanowski. I think it's important, if you see how many people in our state are food insecure right now, we thought this would be a good matchup for today. Well, you have to admire what Food Share did. I mean, we're pretty proud of what we did with the masks, but these guys are out here every day almost, really filling a need, so. We're just very proud to be partnering with them today. The people have come from near and far and are grateful to be here. It means a lot because we run out of food a lot and I get food to bring to my daughter. So it, it means a lot to me. We're just excited that they're giving out free food and free masks. That's mainly what we're here for. Good time. Thank you very much. Very helpful. A lot of families are not working. They're in need of food and it's a hard time for everyone. And it can't be done without the volunteers. I'm volunteering to help out the families that aren't working, that need food right now, that have been unemployed. It means the world to me. I am completely honored to be part of this. Food Chair and Masks for Connecticut, two great organizations coming together to help. A couple weeks ago, we randomly surveyed about 500 cars here uh, over the course of a couple of days, and we found that 72% of them have uh, said that they are new to food insecurity. They had never experienced anything like this before. These are not our typical clients, our typical customers. We're going to be here till the end of June, and the last week of every cycle we reassess, but we'll be here as long as the money lasts and as long as the need is here. That's right, you heard Dom. If you need food, you can come to East Hartford, Rentschler Field, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to noon. They will be here till at least the end of June. And they're thinking about maybe extending that. They're just gonna have to wait and see. They'll have to analyze it. But if you need free face masks, you can come Thursday to Enfield High School. We'll be there from 7 to 12.30 with Mass for Connecticut. Needs to give a big shout out to the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven. Without them, this would not be possible. All right, that's it. I'm live in uh, East Hartford. Hartford at Rentschler Field, along with the early warning weather tracker, Scott Haney, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.